Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering our last topic of this course, which is on user authentication. We're going to be talking about what user authentication actually is, what it means, and we're going to talk about how to um, perform authentication uh, or implement op op authentication scheme in PHP using sessions. Um, we're going to talk about uh, different authentication methods that are used that are available. Um, we're going to talk about that after users have been authenticated and they've been, for example, logged into the admin website and used it and they want to log out. We're going to talk about that process. And then we're going to talk about um, setting up our database so that we can add in our final lesson um, user authentication to our admin uh, website. So basically right now we've been having the ability to add items, view orders, update items in the store, update departments, and so forth. Well, now we're going to add what you would, ex in our next lesson, we're going to add what you would expect um, for an administrator set like that is we're going to add a, a way to log in with the username and password. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about setting up uh, a table called users, which is going to contain information about user accounts to be able to log into that. Um, related to that topic, we're going to talk about a concept called password hashing, or just hashing in general. And then we're going to go over required homework, which is going to have you basically set up this user's database uh, for our final web application development lesson. So basically, user authentication is used uh, to uh, validate the identity of a user. When someone comes to your ad admin website and they want to um, add an item to the store, you want to make sure that they're the appropriate person. Um, so authentication on the web is, is pretty much often used to, um, to restrict certain content. Maybe you have a members only area and or services. So for our admin website, maybe we'd only want, well, we would only want certain people uh, maybe in our organization to be able to add items to the store. Authentication is a way to um, basically restrict that uh, ability to do these different things. And the most common authentication scheme, with which I'm sure all of you are familiar, is to have a user provide a username uh, and password combination. Uh, that uniquely identifies that user and is a basis for saying this is who I am and then after that as um, sort of that authentication test is passed then they get access to whatever services or content you would like to provide them. Um, what you can do in PHP is we know about the built-in session functionality and we can actually use that as a means to um, provide restricted access to our pages. Um, so for example provide restricted access to our admin website and basically the way you do that is um, you go through a couple of different steps. The first step would be you would authenticate a user. So um, you would have a form where they would log in with their username and password, for example. Um, when you do that, it would start a session. Uh, and there are various methods that you can do to authenticate a user. We're not, right, we're not going to get into that in just a second. We're going to talk more about the session-related part of it. So let's say we, a user logs in and they're authenticated. We've verified that they're um, who they are. Then what we can do is begin a session and then set a session variable to maybe we have a session variable called authenticated. And then basically on every page um, that we want to restrict access to, we can just provide a test on those particular page that verifies um, that this uh, particular piece of session data um, is available in their session. Uh, because what basically we're saying is if they're authenticated, they were able to create a session, they were able to create that session variable, if um, when they go to a page, uh, they uh, are able to access that session, that implies that they were able to successfully log in. Uh, so basically, what, uh, as mentioned, what you do on your particular pages you want to strict access to is you just test for the existence of a particular session variable. Um, uh, because when a, a user is authenticated, a session gets started, and then a known variable is set, and what's going to happen, as we know, um, assuming we're using cookie-based sessions, every time a user visits a restricted page, for example, they're going to pass along their session cookie. That session cookie is going to give them access to session data. If they've appropriately logged in, that session data will contain this authenticated, uh, this variable that we're going to use as a means for authenticating. Um, so if, as long as that variable is set, then we can say, okay, you have access to this, you've been authenticated, we're going to give you access to this particular page. Uh, so if we look at a script, first example script uh, for this lecture called restrictedaccess.php, basically it's a page that we want to rest restrict access to only authenticated users. 
So at the beginning of the page, we start a session or continue a session, and then we basically perform a simple test on the session variable authenticated. And we're going to use that as our variable to test um, if a user has been logged in or not. And so basically we're um, running is set on the session variable authenticated. If it's set is true, then authenticated variable is going to be true. If not, it's going to be false. Then in our content area, if the user is authenticated, meaning authenticated is true, we're going to output a, a welcome message. If not, we're going to say you must be logged in to view this content. Well, this portion of our web application, or this lecture example, doesn't have a login screen. So every time we go to this restricted access page, we're not going to be able to view that uh, content. So if we go to version 1 and we click on restricted access, we're going to get you must be logged in uh, to view this content. We're going to show in a second how to add the login form so that it, you're able to see that. 